Welcome to VSP News from Coleman's Corner. I'm your host, David A. Coleman, editor of Fleet Maintenance Magazine, the only publication that is all maintenance, all management, all vehicle classes, all the time. At the end of the 1990s, air disc brakes became standard on European heavy-duty commercial vehicles. Now, air disc brakes are slowly gaining a foothold in North America because they offer some advantages over drum brakes. I had a chance to discuss the situation with Chad Mitz. He is Meritor's General Manager of North American Brakes and Drivelines. Meritor is a leading global supplier of drivetrain, mobility, braking, and aftermarket solutions for commercial vehicle and industrial markets. Now, Mitz said the biggest advantage of air disc brakes compared to drum brakes is performance. The key advantage is performance. The disc brake, um, the big thing that you avoid is in-stop fade. Uh, so as it, any brake gets hot, the, the element's going to grow. So on a disc brake, it's the rotor grows. On a drum brake, the drum grows. Gets hot, just thermally expands. The difference is on a disc brake, that rotor grows into the pads. So you don't lose any brake force as the temperature increases. Whereas on a drum, those shoes got to keep trace, chasing that drum as it moves away. So one of the big advantages is the reduction of fade as brakes are running hot. Air disc brakes are also very robust and permanently and redundantly sealed for greater reliability. In addition, these brakes provide better driver feel and a more controlled braking stability. The other big, big advantage is as a result of the fade and the characteristics of a, of a disc brake, you know, a drum brake is self-energizing. When you first apply the brakes, you get a rapid rise in torque, so that behavior is a little bit different than you would see in your car, for example. Disc brake has a nice, smooth, linear output. You put the pedal down, you get a the constant steady buildup of torque translates into feel that drivers have an easier time with. Um, so there's that feel factor and then with that comes some better inline stability. The torque variances because of the way the brakes operate are less side to side. So you just get overall better feel controllability. That being said, drum brakes have improved. They've closed a lot of those gaps, but the disc brake is always just by the inherent physics of the product is going to be a, bit, a little bit better. What about servicing and maintaining air disc brakes? Here again is Meritor's Mitz. The service and maintenance savings come from a couple places. Certainly there's the lack of lubrication, those types of things, um, as well as the friction materials are a little bit different and the wear characteristics are different. So you can get the pads will just last a little bit longer than a drum brake typically. But then when it comes time to change them, um, that first change where you're taking out a pad and re replacing a pad kit versus a shoe kit, it's about 70% faster to do it on a disc brake versus a drum brake. So you definitely get maintenance savings. It's easier to train people to do a disc brake pad change than it is a drum brake change. Um, the difference is when you have to re replace the rotor. Taking the rotor, a typical rotor in North America, you have to remove the hub. It starts to become a lengthier exercise and you don't have that advantage on that second pad change. But over life, every other pad change, you're going to do it about 75% faster than you can do it with a drum brake. It bears noting that there are ramifications when an air disc brake tractor is used with trailers that have drum brakes. One of the things that we just have to be aware of in North America is, you know, there aren't too many tractors that are just driving around by themselves. And uh, so we have to, you know, the thing has to work together as a system. It's great if your tractor brakes last forever, but if that trailer that you don't see in the shop very often is now going through its brakes faster because you haven't done the work necessary to properly balance that disc brake tractor with all the drum brake hookups, you can start to push those maintenance savings and all of a sudden you'll be chasing trailers that you didn't have to chase before. These are all solvable problems, but they aren't, they have to be worked through. You know, everybody, you have to look at your business, how do you service your tractors? What friction material are you putting on your trailers? When you, when you do a brake job and those trailers are held for a while, if you have some old, you know, will fit friction material on those trailers and you're matching up with a disc brake tractor, there can be some service consequences there. So you can potentially adversely affect that service balance and advantage. To learn more about air disc brakes and Meritor's product offerings, visit Fleet Maintenance Magazine online. Thank you for tuning in to VSP News from Coleman's Corner. I am your host, David A. Coleman, 
the editor of Fleet Maintenance Magazine, the only publication that is all maintenance, all management, all vehicle classes all the time. Until the next broadcast, you can keep up to date with what is happening in our industry by visiting Fleet Maintenance Magazine online.